Okay, so I'm going to be doing um, 3.3, uh, 2.3, sorry, rather, 2.3, numbers 19 and 20, and ready, set, go. So it says, how many solutions are there for the explicit equation y equals negative 6x plus 5? And what do solutions like this look like? So if you look at this equation, the best way I can describe this is I want to go to Desmos and I want to graph it. Oops, there it is right there. There's my Desmos. So I'm going to graph on Desmos. So I get y equals negative 6x plus 5. And they're asking, what do the solutions for this equation look like? Right? So the solutions are any point on this line. So if I just take one of these points, um, go up here. So here's one of my solutions. It's at 0, 5. That is a solution. Here is another solution. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Right here. Should be one right here ish. Maybe not. So if I plugged in one, that's what I'm saying. Oh, if I plugged in one, I should get negative one. But I'm not. Hey, what am I missing here? When I plug in one, I should get negative one. So, oh, here's one. So here's negative one. Yeah, I should get somewhere right here. Oh, there it is, right there. Here's another solution to that. It's not gonna let me hold on to it there, right there. So the solutions are literally all of the points on this line. And you can see my number is going crazy right there. And so um, it's all of the points on the line, okay? So, so this actually has infinitely many solutions and I'm gonna type it because that way you can remember infinitely many solutions. So this would be all the ordered pairs on that line, okay? Our solutions to that. All the ordered pairs for that line would be solutions to that. So any of them. Okay. And then, so the next question that they ask is, what is a proper way to represent all the solutions for a given explicit equation? The easiest way that I just showed you was if I graphed it, right? So let me show you my graph. Here it is. So an easy way to do it is just showing this graph. Okay. All right. Have a great day.